Tom here. Today we're going to run through how to use ChatGPT to generate schema markup for a video page on your Webflow website. So over in Webflow what I've done is set up this new video resources page and each of these videos has their own individual pages. And what I want to do is quickly generate some schema markup just to help rank these videos when it comes to search engines like Google. So I've set up the individual video page here in Webflow. What I'm going to do is publish that, grab the link, and then use ChatGPT4's web browsing feature to analyze that link and then generate the schema markup for me. So if I copy the link, so what I can do is head over to ChatGPT4's web browsing feature and I can say, please analyze the URL and generate schema markup for video. Hit enter and let it do its thing. So what it's now doing is generating that schema markup for me and it's all based on that exact video page. What we can actually do is tap into Webflow CMS to auto generate all of this information. So what I'm going to do is copy this code, jump back across to Webflow and in the, the purple page as I call it for this video is scroll right down to the heading tag and just paste that in. We also need just the opening script tag and the closing script tag. So with that all in place, what we can do is we can see that there are some certain fields that have been filled out that are specific to this video, but we want to replace those or use Webflow's CMS to dynamically update those. So the first is the name, then we've got a description. It's got a thumbnail there, which we can also use a bit of magic to generate. We've got the upload date, the duration. We're not going to worry about the duration for this one, but you can also add that in. We've also got the content URL, the embed URL, as well as a logo here. Now this logo, we can actually work backwards and just quickly save that just by visiting our website and then copy image address. And we can paste that straight into our area here. And that's obviously going to be the same across every single page. Now what we can start to do is building up our video collection. We can actually add in some of the fields that we require. So for example, the uh, description, which we'll grab there. We'll obviously grab the name of the video from the name area. And we've also got this little YouTube end bit too. And the way that I've been using that is just grabbing this little last few digits here. That becomes our YouTube end. And I'll show you how to use that shortly. If we jump back to our page, what we can start to do is work through this schema markup and replace it dynamically with Webflow's field. So if we grab this name here that's relevant to our blog post that we use to set things up, click add field and then replace this with the name, which means that it's going to dynamically replace it with the name for every video. Now with our description, we've got this just as a single text field. We can come and click and change that with the overview. Now the URL of the thumbnail, what we can do for this one is, if you just do a simple search for YouTube find thumbnail, you see this first one, which is called orbiting web. What we can then do is copy this first value. We can jump back to Webflow and paste that in this area here. Just making sure that we retain the, um, the quotation marks that are in there. And then we can replace this ID with our YouTube end that we grabbed before. And that's gonna, again, dynamically populate it with that area. The upload date, I'm just gonna grab as the creation date for now, but you can actually add a custom upload date in. And then we're just gonna replace these two areas here with our YouTube end field as well. So that's populated everything and where it's gonna update each of these fields based on what Webflow says. So if we hit save and then publish that, the last step that we can do after that's published is grab our link again. What we can do is visit Google's rich results test. Click on this. We can then double check that that's published. We can then paste that link into here and go test URL just to see if we've been successful in terms of updating the schema. And there you have it. We've got green ticks across the board with one valid item detected. So that's how we can use the power of ChatGPT combined with Webflow's CMS to create a valid schema markup for a video page.